Hello everybody, welcome back to the GearHead 426 channel. Today we're going to go ahead and install this Bell's Racework differential brace on my 350Z. So as I just said, this is a Bell's Racework 350Z diff brace. This one is the Z1 Motorsports variant. What that means is it has enough spacing in here where you could have the Z1 Motorsports high capacity diff cover. I do not have that diff cover, but I do want to install this because I have been so scared of breaking my differential stud that I've been driving the car very lightly. So today we're going to go ahead and install this. It's going to be super freaking easy. Everything you should need is right here. I mean, this is honestly like more than what you actually need, but you need two 19s, preferably a socket and a wrench, a 17 millimeter, and you also need a 14 millimeter. Uh, you need the 14 millimeter to go ahead and pull that cover off. The 17 millimeter put this one on, and the 19 millimeter for this bolt right here. I also have a torque wrench adapter guy right here, just because I want to go ahead and torque down these cover bolts, which is 32 foot pounds. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I promise this will be a quick video. Okay, so after fighting with my camera to go ahead and get it to work right, we're going to go ahead and take a 14 millimeter and take off these two diff cover bolts. Do not use an impact, you can break them. Just take these two and set them off to the side. We will not be reusing them. Now you just take your diff brace. You take this collet bushing thing, make sure it's on the bolt. It's gonna go through this hole right here. It should line up. Mine's lining up pretty nice. Now do not tighten anything. We wanna go ahead and get everything threaded. Go ahead and put in our diff cover bolts one and then number two everything lined up very nicely didn't have any issues with it lining up at all now I'm gonna take the washer and nut for this top bolt and put it in right here at this back side which is being a pain in the butt I don't know if you guys can see all the rust underneath this car, but what I will tell you is uh, I'm never buying another northern car ever again. This one was from Ohio. I'm not doing that again. Now we could go ahead and snug everything up, then tighten it all down. So for the top bolt, which I want to do last, yeah, let's do the top bolt last. Let's go ahead and start with the diff cover bolts, which is a 17 millimeter now with the new bolts. Don't overdo them, just snug them up, and then we'll go ahead and torque them down. You might need an extension, it will help a little bit. Now before I torque that down, I want to go ahead and tighten the top one, which is going to be a 19 millimeter socket on this side. You're not going to be able to get a socket in on the other side, but you can get a 19 millimeter box end wrench in on the other side. So you just tighten this one down as much as you can. Do not overdo it. You are in aluminum, so you can break it. Now, go ahead and grab our torque wrench. I've used these a lot. I love these. Uh, there's actually a guy out there that went and tested them and showed that these are just as accurate as a mechanical snap-on torque wrench, so don't worry about it. The torque spec for the diff cover here is 32 foot-pounds, which is what we're going to go ahead and put it to. You don't necessarily need to actually torque these down, but I personally would hate for this to go ahead and start leaking on me, so we're going to torque it down. And that's all it takes to install your Bell's Racework Z1 Motorsport style diff brace. Now I'm no longer worried about breaking this bushing right here, which is awesome. Now let's go ahead and take it for a test drive and see how it acts. So I went ahead and warmed up the car while I set up my GoPro mic and all that kind of stuff and whatnot. I haven't set this up in a little while, at least not in this way. And now we're gonna go ahead and see how it feels. I do notice a little bit of a difference right away. Yeah, there's a bit of a difference. 
I don't have any additional noise, harshness, or vibration, anything like that. But it does feel a little bit stiffer. Like the stiffs feel a little bit firmer. And whenever I get on the throttle, it doesn't like, it doesn't feel like it soft rolls into it. It feels like it just gets into it. Oh yeah, that feels way better actually. <laughs> I wanna go ahead and uh, get a good pull out of it real quick. I don't wanna do it from a dig, but I do wanna do a little bit of, I'll do it from a like a 10 mile an hour roll. Yeah, that feels way better. Holy crap, that feels way better. Yeah, I think this was definitely worth it. That brace is, in my opinion, absolutely worth it. Before, I would shift and it would like jerk a little bit and it was a little violent. Now it's just like, it's got it. I feel more in control of the car, I guess, is a good way to put it. It just like, it just feels better. Yeah, even just, shifting normally. I don't notice any more NVH at all. We'll do a second gear pull. Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a difference. Yeah, it's worth it. I would definitely recommend getting this brace. Like the rear feels like it's a lot stiffer now. And I don't have to worry about breaking those freaking bolts, which is awesome. Like that, I've been worried about really beating on this car like I just did because I'm worried that I'm gonna break that bolt. And then it's like, oh great, now I have to limp it home and that's gonna be a pain in the ass to replace, so. I'm really, really happy with this. It's definitely worth like the 120 something dollars that it is. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and go to big thumbs up. If you are stopping to buy for the first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.